Hello, I'm Mark from whiteboxuk.co.uk. Thank you for clicking on our install video. We are going to show you how to fit Sortimo floor vents. Today we're working on this Peugeot Boxer, but this applies to any van that you're going to fit them on. Let's have a look inside the van. This van's already got a floor in there. The customer's actually already started to, to line the inside of the vehicle because he's going to have some equipment in here that needs to stay dry. He's also uh, chosen to fit his own floor. You can get a Sortimo floor, which is ready cut. So what he's done for us, he's left it loose because we're going to have to lift the floor up. Let's quickly have a look at what's in the packet for the floor vent and then we can look about positioning. When you receive your sort of my floor vent, this is how it's gonna come. So it's all bagged up, everything in there um, with the instructions. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna unbag it, show you what components should be in the bag with the instructions and then just talk through about finding somewhere to fit them. Okay, so there's three main parts to this. We've got the piece that goes underneath the van. We've got the collar that screws into the top from above the floor and then finally we've got the grill that fits over the top and that's going to make a nice finish on top of the wooden floor. Now we just need to find some space to fit the floor vents in the van, having a look underneath to make sure we're not going to foul any fuel tanks, tyres or anything else like that and get in the right position in correspondence to the roof vents because they have to go diagonally opposite each other. I'm going to fit one of the vents to the rear of the van. This is going to have four vents in total. So the first one's going to go somewhere around here. But what I need to do is make sure it's not going to foul underneath because you've got to remember that this piece is going to protrude from the bottom of the van. And also you've got lots of structure, beams. I know there's a tyre here because I've had a look underneath already. And also there's a fuel tank up there and you do not want to be drilling into a tyre or a fuel tank. Best thing to do is have a look underneath, work out how far the vent's got to go in. So we'll have a look underneath. Now I know where I'm going to go, I'm going to measure. I know I've got to be 70 mil from this point. Now I can see on the base of the van there's these ribs and these ribs run all the way through the van. So I know there's a rib here. Using that as a reference point and from underneath I'm going to measure 70 millimetres back because I've already checked that measurement. And then I'm going to drill a pilot hole. Uh, drill a 6mm pilot hole at first. This is going to make sure that the floor, the top part of the floor, aligns afterwards with the hole that you've cut underneath. Because the last thing you want to be doing is cutting holes in the floor and then nothing lining up. So let's drill this pilot hole. Okay, that's the pilot hole done. So looking under the van, it's quite hard to see, but you can see the tyre here. You can see the hole where it's come through on the middle of the rib. So I know that the position is good and that's corresponding to the hole in the top. And if we look about where the cup's going to go, around centre on that hole, then we can see it's going to fit right there, which is perfect position for us. Once we've done all the pilot holes for all the vents, we can lift the floor up, take it out, start looking at cutting our larger holes. Okay, again, looking underneath from where the second one's gonna go. We have a, a beam here. We've got the main chassis rail running up here to the spring. We've got a beam underneath there. And we've got these floor ribs here. So ideally, I want to be between these two ribs. So I've just got to work out somewhere around here and make sure that it is 45 millimeters. So in the back, they look like they're in line. That's going to be the difficult bit. It's going to take a lot of measuring and jumping in and out of the van. But once we've got that pilot hole in and we know it's in the right place, we can then get cut in. Don't worry too much if, uh, if you have to drill another pilot hole within a small distance because you're going to be cutting it out anyway as long as you know which centre hole you're working to. So let's get measuring.
Now we've got the floor out, we can see our pilot holes. The next thing to do is to break through the floor. It's got to be a minimum of 100.5 millimetres. So the next thing is, safety goggles on. And uh, let's get drilling. So that's it, now we've drilled our 100 mil hole. We can start offering up the other components. So now we just need to put a nice thick bead of sealant around the top of this. After we've installed it, we're going to have another look underneath and any gaps that might be seen, we're just going to put some more sealant in there to fill up any gaps. Because obviously the floor is uneven, you've got all the ribs, but this should take out most of it. So the hole's deburred. We've got our base plate, we've rust cured as well around the edge, so we don't want any, anything rusting out. Taking away all the dirt and loose chippings that are there. So finally, I'm just tightening that down at the bottom as much as possible. And that's the floor vent in place. Once the wooden floor is over the top, we'll show you how to cut the, the grills in and that'll put a nice finisher on there. Now we've installed the floor vents in the lower part of the floor, um, cutting the minimum 100.5mm. I had a 102mm hole saw, which is pretty close. Um, you can go a little bit bigger than 105 so that's perfectly fine. Next thing is cut a 83mm hole in the wooden floor. So you saw earlier on, obviously when we first had the floor in, we drove, drilled all the way through the floor so we know they're going to line up because the pilot hole is going to line up. So the next thing is cut the 83mm hole in the wooden floor, lay the floor down and then put the grills over the top. We finish our bit of the job, so it's just left for the customer. So he's installing his own floor, he's putting the linings in. We were just putting in the vents for him, so there's some gaps here which he's got to fill in. But after we cut the holes in the metal part of the floor, we installed the top and the bottom cup. We put the sealant around, tighten them down. We then cut the 83 mil hole in the wood. So we've got these two vents here. Push these down inside, reinstall the floor. And then that's basically the vents done. The last thing I had to do was get underneath the van, 
and just fill in any gaps that I could see around the bottom cup with the sealant just to make sure no water gets up underneath. So that's really it for installing the Sortimo floor vents. If you click on the link as well, which I hope is going to be at the bottom of the screen, um, you'll be able to see a link to us installing the Fletner roof vents. Had a little bit of trouble due to the, um, to the shape of the roof, but we overcome it. We've got some ideas that you can take from that. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hopefully you'll find some uh, interesting videos. That's it from me.